BRICS countries are a group of emerging economies consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These countries have seen significant economic growth in recent years, and have become major players on the global stage. They also have a substantial military capability and an increasing political influence in the global sphere, and by teaming together, this group commands a voice for itself in the global sphere, for example, it helps them to have wiser worries about emerging economies whenever the West implements policies that are explicitly beneficial to itself, and a famous example of this is the carbon tax. The European Union routinely complains about the carbon emissions created by the Indian and Chinese steel industries. Because their industries are adopting to clean energy, they are now going to apply a carbon tax, so that when Indian and Chinese steel enter the global marketplace in 2030, Indian products will be taxed penalties precisely because of more carbon emission than these developed countries. Brazil Brazil is the largest country in South America and is known for its abundant natural resources, including oil, minerals, and agricultural products. It is also home to a growing manufacturing industry and a thriving service sector. Russia Russia is the largest country in the world, stretching from Europe to Asia. It is a major exporter of oil and natural gas, and has a strong industrial base. It is also a leading producer of agricultural products, including wheat and dairy products. India India is the second most populous country in the world and is known for its diverse culture and history. It is a major exporter of textiles and clothing, and has a rapidly growing service sector. It is also a leading producer of pharmaceuticals and technology products. China China is the world's most populous country and is known for its rapid economic growth. It is a major exporter of manufactured goods and has a strong industrial base. It is also a leading producer of agricultural products, including rice and wheat. South Africa is the most developed country in Africa and is known for its rich mineral resources, including gold and diamonds. It is also a major exporter of agricultural products and has a growing manufacturing sector. The BRICS countries are increasingly working together to promote economic growth and development in their respective regions. By collaborating on projects and initiatives, they hope to become even more influential on the global stage and help shape the future of the world economy. Saudi Arabia is one of the most powerful nations in the world and it has always been the closest ally of the United States of America. However, Saudi Arabia is currently involved in a cold war with the same United States, because Saudi Arabia reduced oil output by 2 million barrels a day as a result the price of oil shot off from $91 a barrel to $94 a barrel. This action was tremendously profitable to OPEC, but it caused mayhem in the West. Further, President Biden warned Saudi Arabia with unclear repercussions and even offered passing the no-pick bill to challenge Saudi Arabia's security which begin violating the petrodollar agreement between the US and Saudi. So, in exchange, Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman made a major step that sent shivers down the spines of Americans, and that was his proposal to join members of the BRICS. Previous year's data states that Saudi has started making defense deals with both China and Russia firstly, they are not overly reliant on the US, Secondly the Biden administration wants to relax economic sanctions on Iran, Saudi Arabia's opponent in the Middle East, and the third reason is the oil consumption of BRICS. Resulting in Saudi Arabia, the world's top oil producer allegedly proposing to join BRICS, by which they will have the backing of China, Brazil and India as the biggest consumers of oil in the world. Saudi Arabia recently announced its intention to join the BRICS group of emerging economies, which includes Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. However, some experts argue that this decision could be harmful to the BRICS countries and the global economy as a whole. One major concern is that Saudi Arabia's economy is heavily reliant on oil exports, and the global market for oil is currently in decline. This could put additional pressure on the other BRICS economies, which are already facing economic challenges. Another issue is that Saudi Arabia has a poor track record on human rights and gender equality. The other BRICS countries have made progress in these areas, and the inclusion of Saudi Arabia could undermine their efforts to promote social justice and equality. Furthermore, Saudi Arabia's foreign policy has often been at odds with that of the other BRICS countries. This could lead to tension and conflict within the group, and could undermine their ability to work together effectively. While Saudi Arabia's entry into the BRICS group may be seen as a way to boost its own economy, the potential drawbacks far outweigh any potential benefits. It is important for the other BRICS countries to carefully consider the consequences of Saudi Arabia joining their group if at all BRICS decides to expand its membership with Saudi Arabia. The first thing that will take place is that, it will stop petrodollar recycling. Saudi selling oil offers the US a $7 trillion advantage which may form a bilateral currency exchange deal under which the BRICS countries would not have to buy oil in dollars especially India and China the two largest users of oil, leading in the collapse of the American economy. Bank interest in the United States will skyrocket, resulting in a tragedy. The U.S. will experience a significant blow since China alone owns $1 trillion in U.S. treasuries. 
Without buying oil in dollars, the Chinese may sell those bonds, putting a dent in the American economy, so even if China merely withdraws its treasury bonds, the US will have $1 trillion less in bonds. On the other hand, President Putin has declared the formation of a new international currency known as the BRICS currency, which is extremely helpful to India, China and Russia. Furthermore, China has already mastered the prototype of an alternate international payment network known as the M-Bridge prototype. This is nothing more than an alternative to SWIFT for making international transactions with central bank digital currency. This is a revolutionary project being carried out in collaboration with the BIS Innovation Hub at the Hong Kong Center, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the Bank of Thailand, and the People's Bank of China's Digital Currency Institute. Hey, thanks for watching we would like to get your feedback on the topic above, so leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.